How's it going, everyone? Today we got a story time of a spoiled kid who absolutely loses it on his coach because the spoiled kid thinks that he's an absolute genius and an absolute athletic uh, phenomenon when he's actually pretty trash. The spoiled kid goes to some crazy lengths and uh, actually does some really insane stuff that I know you will find at least entertaining. Maybe a bit irritating, but also at least entertaining. I know you'll enjoy today's story, guys. So sit back, relax. Subscribe if you're new, leave a like on the video to claim your free nothing, as always. But limited time, and let's just jump right into the story. So we're going to call the subscriber who submitted this story, Eric. So anyways, right, Eric was trying out for the basketball team. Let's set the scene. It's winter time. it's just the beginning of winter time, and the basketball season has started. So anyways, right, since the basketball season has started, there are tryouts, and uh, Eric is fairly good. And their local high, in their high school, local high school, I guess the high school that they go to, has tryouts for the varsity team. Um, so they don't have a JV team. Uh, the funding's a little bit limited, so the only team that they have, unfortunately, is the varsity team. There's a lot of kids that are pretty good at basketball, and uh, the sad thing is, if you're good but not good enough, you kind of don't get to play, which kind of means the people who are just like sub-varsity and barely or almost good enough to be on varsity won't ever be able to be on it unless they spend a lot of time outside of school because then they won't have time to practice in school. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. With a lot of things in life, it is what it is. And it's for you to internalize it. Anyways, though, let's jump ahead to the tryouts. So sure enough, uh, there's another kid. So a lot of kids are trying out. The teams fit about 20 and there's like 40 kids trying out, which is always a little bit stressful. I mean, even if you know that you have a decent shot of getting on, which uh, the subscriber Eric is quite good at basketball. Uh, it's his freshman year, so he hasn't, he's, he, he hasn't been on the team like last year. It's not like he's a sophomore that has been on the team before. But, you know, when he was in, you know, middle school, he would go to the games. He has a sense of how good the basketball varsity team is, and he knows that he probably fits somewhere around there. However, even with this being said, it's still kind of stressful because, look, he doesn't actually know how good the competition is. He doesn't know if the standards are higher. He doesn't know if he's just going to perform really terribly and the coach doesn't see him at his true average or true peak or whatever. And he just shows the worst possible case every single time, which might speak more of an ability to perform under pressure anyways. But yeah, so Eric's pretty nervous. Most of the other kids are nervous. But one kid is not nervous. That kid is the spoiled kid. So the spoiled kid uh, is less of a spoiled kid in the sense of, like, finances, even though his parents are, his parents are balling for sure, right? But he's not spoiled in the sense of, like, he's flexing his, like, wads of cash in everyone's face. He's not spoiled in the way that the last spoiled kid, who literally smashed a kid's computer just to prove how rich he was. Which is a ridiculous story, I think you'll enjoy it, so watch it after this one if you haven't already. But anyways, right, uh, so uh, sure enough, uh, this kid was spoiled in the sense that he believed that he was simply a god at everything that he wanted to do. Uh, is you need to, like, solve the, the, the physics of the universe? Move aside, Einstein. Spoiled kid is good at that. You want to have some insane athletic ability, maybe in basketball? Move aside, LeBron James. Spoiled kid is actually the greatest man at basketball. You want to impress every ladies? Move aside, uh, the person who runs the Connor Pugs channel. Because, <laughs> jokes. Because, uh, you know, spoiled kid, he's number one. Look, it's very good to go into situations with a sense of confidence. You'll probably do better. But there's a difference and a fine line. You have to learn in life how to ride this properly. A fine line uh, between uh, confidence and arrogance. Arrogance and hub hubris will absolutely screw you up in life. Confidence will help you succeed. So figure that out. And you'll learn through life how that actually works. Anyways, the spoiled kid believed that he is always better. He is immediately good at everything. And he's also immediately, and just by default, Better than everyone else at everything. I think his parents kind of nurtured this environment. So once again, it's I'm a little conflicted if I can actually blame the kid because it's partially him, but also partially his parents. Yeah, I, every single time there's a spoiled kid, I'm like, well, he is a product of his environment and he's not a fully grown adult. Like he doesn't have a, his prefrontal cortex is still, is still developing. So I can only be so mad at him, right? But anyways, we get to tryouts. And you might be thinking, well, if the spoiled kid is so confident and the only confident one there, well, maybe, Connor, maybe there's a chance that he's actually pretty good. Maybe he actually knows what he's doing. Meh, he's the worst, bro. He's actually so trash. <laughs> so anyways, right, they get on to the... Look, I, 
there's a bit of the story that might be a little bit incorrect. There might be some terminology that's not correct. I'm not a basketball guy, never have been, so I might say some stuff that's just not true, <laughs> like how the tryouts work, but bear with me and fill in the gaps that make sense in your mind. Anyways, it's basketball tryouts. And so one of the things they do is they kind of have like, they, they have like practice games or whatever. Uh, I don't know how many people are normally on a team for basketball, like on one side. Is it five, six, seven? Either way, they divide up into mini teams just to have so the coach can see them, so can see what they're doing, see what they're made of, see what their stuff's like. Anyway, so the coach watches and they're all divided up into teams. And the spoil kid and the subscriber, Eric, are put on the same, same, uh, the same team together. Uh, so immediately... The spoiled kid grabs the basketball, and uh, if you don't know, you kind of have to dribble in basketball. You can't just grab onto a ball, push everyone else away, run up and try and shoot, right? But this is what the spoiled kid did. He grabbed the basketball. Instead of dribbling, he held it close to his chest, pushed some random guy out of the way, and started beelining it towards the other side. So immediately the coach starts blowing his whistle. He's like, spoil kid, spoil kid, you can't do that. You got to dribble. Like, you can't do that. Anyways, spoil kid ignores everything, pushes by everyone else. And uh, like, he doesn't even really need to push by that many people because most of the kids on the other team are just standing there in confusion because it's not like they're about to lose because bro can't be doing what he's doing. But they're just kind of like, huh? Like, what is this kid doing right now? And so the spoiled kid runs all the way to the other side, and then when he throws the basketball, instead of, like, throwing it with proper form, he literally drops it and then kicks it like a soccer ball, completely misses, like, the, the net, right? And it just shoots right into the door, and the door, like, pushes open, and the soccer ball flies outside into the grass. So let's just say that that wasn't the greatest first performance. At this point, there's a really valid question of, uh, has a spoiled kid ever seen a game of basketball before? That's a great question because, uh, I don't, I, look, I haven't seen the most basketball on TV. I haven't seen the most games in person. I do go to a few college games. I do watch a little bit if it's on TV, right? I know a little bit, but from my very brief knowledge of basketball, I've never seen someone, uh, grab the ball, push by everyone else, refuse to dribble, and then drop kick it into the door. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that's not how you win. I'm pretty sure that's not how you get points, right? I mean, I might be wrong. Maybe he's actually a mega genius as he claims to be. And this is some secret method that only the true intellectuals understand. Mm, I don't know, man. I don't really think so. But, uh, yeah, so everyone's kind of sitting there. What, just kind of stunned. Some kids are kind of like laughing a little bit. Uh, uh, Eric, the subscriber, is kind of just very uncomfortably like, okay, how are we going to go about this? Because it's so obvious this kid is not going to make the varsity team. Like, does the coach cut him now and just save him some time? Or does the coach just be nice to him? And like, I don't know, just let him, let him like keep playing and then cut him at the end of the day? Like, what is the good decision here? What is the like the right thing to do? So anyways, right, the coach is like, goes over to the spoiled kid, and basically, yeah, I, he decides he's going to let him stay, but the spoiled kid explains how basketball works, which, look, man, if you're trying out for varsity, the competitive team, and the coach has to explain to you the fundamental rules of the game that you're trying out for, I'm just going to say this, there's a probably a fairly decent chance that you're not going to make the team. I know this might come as a shocker to some of you guys, but the, if the coach has to come over and explain the fundamental rules of the, of the sport you're trying to apply for the most, or you're applying for the most competitive version of that team, there is a decent shot that, hey man, maybe this isn't for you. Maybe, maybe this year isn't your year. So anyways, right, uh, the tryouts continue and the spoiled kid has many more moments of just epic fails or whatever. And mostly because, you know, He's never played before, bro. What do you expect? Bro was dribbling, but instead of kind of like lightly tapping or whatever, or dribbling in control, what he did was he took the basketball and slammed it into the ground as like hard as he could, and the thing just flew out into the stands, which is not how you want to dribble last time I checked. Anyways, so by the end of tryouts, uh, the coach basically said, hey, okay, so... We're going to do, I'm going to do first round of cuts uh, by tonight. Just check your school email and you'll know. Um, and then tomorrow will kind of be the final day. There'll be most, of, mostly it will be the team tomorrow. There's a chance it'll only be the team tomorrow. Or if not, I'll only cut one or two. I have a good sense of the majority of the people who aren't going to make it. And I'll let you know to save you as much time and not waste any of your time. 
So they're packing up and they're walking out. And for some reason, Eric is just like, I don't know, he's tying a shoe or for some reason he's just staying longer than, I don't know, usual. And so sure enough, uh, he overhears the spoiled kid go up to the coach. And the spoiled kid says to the coach, all right, coach, so where do you think my position's gonna be on the team? Do you think I'm gonna be star quarterback? Do you think I'm gonna be line man? Dude's not even saying basketball terms right now, but he's, he's implying that he wants to be the star basketball player. So the coach has to break it to him that uh, bro's not making the team, dude. Yeah, so sure enough, right, uh, the subscriber is just watching as the coach has to very awkwardly let the spoiled kid know that, no, he's not going to be quote-unquote star quarterback of the basketball team. Dude, I don't know much about sports, but you could never catch me saying, hey, man, who's the star quarterback on the basketball team? And also, especially uh, when you're in trying to become the star quarterback on the basketball team, I feel like if you're trying to be the star player of a basketball team, you're most likely not going to be calling it the star quarterback. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong here. So, yeah, the coach explains to the spoiled kid, hey, like, I love the enthusiasm and, you know, with a lot of training, maybe this team would make sense for you. The thing is, though, right now, you know, we just have so many good people and really limited space that, you know, we just can't, we just don't have room for you right now. However, I'd love for you after some, like, training or, like, if you want to pursue this yourself, I'd love to see you next year at tryouts, and I think we can, you know, we can make something work if you put in the work. So a really nice response. Like, it's a rejection. Rejection sting. But out of all the possible ways the coach could have put it, this is by far one of the nicest ways. Look, dude, out of all the ways you could have gotten rejection, this is by far probably one of the nicest ways. Rejection sting either way, though. So the spoiled kid is like, w w what, do you, what do you mean? Like, so what spot am I going to be on the, the basketball team? <laughs> so the coach is like, uh, yeah, sometimes you can reject someone. You can reje reject them so nicely that they don't even know that they're getting rejected. And this was one of those situations, even though I think the coach is pretty clear, like, in his rejection. But at this point, the coach realized, okay, I got to be a little bit more firm. The coach basically said, hey, I hate to break it to you. You didn't make the team this year, but we'd happy to see you. I, we'd, we'd ha I'd be happy for you to try out next year. Totally fair, right? Whatever, this happens. The spoiled kid's like, no, I don't think I understand. Like, where am I going to be on the team? And uh, Ericus is listening to this go down. He's like, <laughs> dang, bro, like, dude's not getting the message. Y you hate to see it, man. You really do hate to see it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, the teacher's like, or the, the coach is like, you didn't make the team. Like, I'm sorry. And the spoiled kid's like, wait, but, like, I might be the bestest at basketball ever, so what's, what, what's up with that? <laughs> and the coach is like, Dude, you literally tried to carry the ball down the court and drop kick it. You are not the best at basketball, bro. Which, like, it's it's pretty hard to argue with that, man. What are you doing drop kicking a basketball, bro? But yeah, sure enough, um, the spoiled kid eventually starts to realize what's going on. And he's like, you're going to make this is the biggest mistake you've ever made. Like, you're going to regret this later. Your team would do so much better with me. And the coach is like, uh, maybe that's true. Maybe it's not. But at the end of the day, I'm the coach and I'm going to make the decision here. The coach didn't actually believe that maybe he was making a bad call. He knew for a fact, because I don't know about you, but if you're having the star varsity team and some kid who tries out tries to, like, drop kick the basketball to, to shoot it, there's a good chance that, like, you know, you got to mitigate the chance of, you got to make sure that you, you, you don't want that to happen during a game. Like, imagine you're playing a game against a rival school and one of your, the one of the people that you chose to be on the basketball team drop kicks the basketball out into the stadium, bro. Like, I, I, I don't know, man. I get why the coach is like, nah. <laughs> so the spoiled kid, though, does not take this well. He does not take it well at all. Yeah, so you guys might be thinking, okay, well, this must be it, right? Spoil kid blows up on coach, gets really mad at him, uh, storms out, and that's it. Uh, you know, everyone else goes on their season, things are normal, things are fine. I totally understand where you're coming from, but I, my friend, you are totally wrong on this one. This, the spoil kid, this is only the precursor to what the spoil kid does. The spoil kid is about to do one of the craziest things I've heard in a while. So for the longest time, uh, Eric completely forgets about the spoil kid, right? It's a distant memory that's not referenced, and it's not much more than that. Jump ahead to the first game. Yeah, the spoiled kid makes his return. The Empire Strikes Back, bro. Real quick, you made it this far into the video. Comment uh, basketball down below. 
That'll be the secret word of the day. And while you're down there, check out the pinned comment as there's a link to the Spotify page. If, if you could watch, listen to me on Spotify too, I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to build a little bit on there. I know some of the guys on the team and it'd be really cool if you could. Then also link to my Storytime animated channel I post once a week and subscribing there actually helps a lot. So let's get right back to it. Anyways though, right, so uh, totally normal. Completely forgotten about the spoiled kid. Eric and his team are in the locker room and they're preparing. It's been about a month of training, tryouts, practice, whatever, and this is their first game. And this is like a pretty big deal. This is like a rival school. Mo a lot of the school came out to see it. You know, as a freshman, like this good, like, Eric has actually seen a lot of like positive social growth or whatever from being on the team. It's a pretty, it's pretty good. I know in high school athletes normally get a pretty, pretty nice bump from their sport and especially during the season and play. And Eric also like, you know, Eric's got a crush on this girl. He knows she's going to be there. So he really wants to perform. I mean, I totally get it. I feel like if I was in Eric's position, I'd want to do the same thing too. Uh, so anyways, they all are hyped up. Super nervous, but also really excited. It's a nice little buzz in between. And so they get out there. And they get out onto the court, and they're warming up. The spoiled kid is in the stands, which is totally fine. Eric actually notices him and is thinking, oh, well, that's, uh, he's made a lot of you know, improvement to grow, grow up, basically, from storming out to showing up to the games. Isn't that nice? Well, let me just say that the spoiled kid had a little bit more in store than just showing up to the game. So yeah, um, anyways, uh, we got a lot in the store is all I'm trying to say. So sure enough, uh, they finish warming up and they are about to start the game. Everyone, at least the people playing at first, are going out there. So uh, Eric is actually on the bench in the very beginning. He will be, he, he's a, he actually does play quite a bit. They're just not starting with them. Uh, I think they're, I don't know. I don't really understand the logic or the uh, kind of the strategy. So I'm not even going to pretend like I know. But anyways, Eric is on the bench. And he looks up at the stadium where the spoiled kid once was. And he looks up and the spoiled kid's not there. So Eric doesn't think anything much of it. He just thinks, oh, either the spoiled kid left, got a better seat, or I'm just misremembering where he actually was. So whatever, right? So anyways, uh, the game is about to begin. So their team, Eric's team, their high school team starts with a basketball. Eric looks over to see who has the basketball in hand. And I might get some of these things incorrect. I'm not a big basketball guy. I'll do my best. He has the basketball in hand, about to pass it to a teammate when Eric watches as the spoiled kid storms the court. And he starts screaming, pass to me, pass to me. I'm going to do the goal. Which, first of all, it's not called a goal, bro. Like, I get it. Look, I'm not, that, I, I'm not a genius when it comes to basketball knowledge. I'm not the number one basketball fan on planet Earth. However, you're not going to catch me calling a bas someone scoring in basketball scoring a goal. I know at least a little bit better than that. And I'm definitely, if I was at that level, I definitely would not be storming the field tell, telling everyone, let me do it. Like, celebrity shot, celebrity shot. Like, all right, man, let's be real, bro. So the whole team is super confused. And before the ref, thankfully, though, the ref did not, like, blow the whistle yet to start the game because the ref is, like, super confused, too. And the kid's like, pass it, pass it, pass it. I'm going to drop kick the goal. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Do you want us to win? And obviously the guy on the team is not about to pass it to the spoiled kid. But the spoiled kid super boldly just runs up to this guy and just grabs the ball from his hand. I'm pretty sure the star basketball player would be able to like hold the ball and maybe like push the spoiled kid back. But the spoiled kid was able to just snatch it out of his grip because the, the basketball player just didn't see this coming. I don't know about you, but I, I, I'm not too surprised that like, it, I, I don't know, if someone came up to me, and just, like, randomly ripped the basket. Like, if I was in this situation and I was the guy with the basketball, I think I would be equally as this confused as well. So the spoiled kid gets a hold of the basketball, and he starts doing what he did in tryout. He literally grabs the basketball and starts running. So everyone on the enemy team, they don't try and stop him because why would they try and stop him? It's not like, first of all, the game hasn't started. Second of all, he's not playing on the enemy team. And third of all, what is, what is even life right now? What is going on right now, basically? So yeah, anyways, right, uh, the spoiled kid once again, remember, this is when the entire school is watching. The spoiled kid takes the basketball, runs to the other side of the court. No one's trying to stop him because they're just like, what? I think the ref is blowing the whistle and being like, get this kid off the field. We're off the, off the court. And the spoiled kid literally once again just drop kicks the basketball. But here's the thing. 
During tryouts, when he drop kicked the basketball, he drop kicked it into like out through the door. This time, he kicks it like at an angle by accident, and he dr basically drop kicks it into the stadium, hits this girl in the face, and she like starts crying and is like walked out by her friends. So it's like such an embarrassing, awkward, and just a terrible experience, right? So everyone is just like everyone in the crowd is just like kind of like either laughing or shocked or taking a video or just like just acknowledging how insane the situation is right now. So sure enough, right, two of the refs go over to the spoiled kid and they more or less escort him off the field. Uh, there wasn't like any penalty given to the home team or the high school's team because this kid was seen as like an independent actor working on his own volition. Or at least people didn't assume the high school hired him to make a fool of themselves, you know what I mean? Yeah, but from that point on, they actually ended up they ended up losing the game, but it was a close game. It was a pretty good one. The rest of the season was pretty good, and the spoiled kid, he got suspended for a day for his actions, and he was also told that he could never try out for the basketball team ever again. If you want to support the channel, click on one of the videos on screen right now. I would appreciate it, and peace.